Hi, my name is Sam. I'm B. And welcome back to DK Ranch. We have some very, very exciting news to share with you guys today. Mm -hmm. But first, we have morning chores. So we're gonna go take care of that and we will be right back. <laughs> Ooh, the mountains are really pretty right now. Watch your boy. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today we're planning on starting a new series on our channel called Building a New Homestead on Raw Land. And we are going to do this in one year. Yeah, no choice. We have yeah. to get it done. Yeah. Episode one is called Our Blueprints. As we have already talked about, we got 10 acres of raw land this last winter that we purchased in North Idaho. Mm -hmm. After we moved up here, we were able to get a few things done on the land to prepare, but not everything. What did we get done? So we were able to get our driveway put in. Um, we were able to do a portion of land clearing, especially the area where our house site is going to be. Um, we did get our electric utilities brought in to the land um, and put our meter in. So in order to get my electricity I actually ran to the property, I need to have my meter main installed with all of the correct fittings. It has to be grounded out and inspected by the state. And then from there, um, the electric company can schedule to run the electric from all the way down the road, along our driveway, to the transformer that'll be right here. That's already buried and inspected. We were also able to get our well dug, which ended up being a 400 foot deep well. Uh, we were able to get very good results out of it though. We were able to get uh, 40 gallons per minute, which is very, very good. We were also able to get our septic installed by a, another local contractor that's been working with me. Um, they're very, very awesome. Uh, their cons construction management team, um, they're lo located out of Athol, and I'll put their link down in the description as well if anybody's in the area and needs some work done. Mm -hmm. We'll include the link for the well company as well. So we spent quite a few months looking at different house plans, contemplating whether we wanted to have an architect design something or if we were able to um, find some plans online or even if I was gonna draw the plans out myself. Um, ultimately, we ended up finding some plans on the internet uh, that worked out really, really well and fit the majority of the needs that we had in for our build. Right, I think I when, my, when I found it, 
I sent it to you and it was just like, this checks all the boxes. This is gonna be perfect. So we were very excited about it when we found it. Yeah. And so we ended up getting our plans from a site called architecturaldesigns.com. Our plan is number 15889GE. The home that we are going to build is a single story and the square footage is 2,045 square feet. Mm -hmm. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home originally, and it has a two car garage. These plans that we ended up finding um, come with everything that you need to get going on the build. Uh, we have all of our elevation plans, as well as our floor plan, our foundation layout and um, specifications, our electrical schematics, and our truss plans as well. And with the kit that I bought, I was also able to get the CAD drawings as well, which in case we needed to get something engineered by an architect a little bit differently, we would have the CAD plans that, sh that are easier for uh, an architect to work with. Okay, so here we're gonna switch over to show you our blueprints now, give you a little sneak peek of what we're gonna be working with. All right, so here, this is our front elevation of the house on the top of the paper here. Um, it's a real basic layout. Uh, we do have some steeper roof lines on here, but that's just the design that we chose that we liked. Mm -hmm. um, this is the rear elevation of the house where we will be able to look out over our back pasture and our barn. So we will be able to see all of our animals at all times from the main living quarters in the house. Yep. <laughs> These are the side elevations that we received with the plan set. Um, this will be the east side elevation and this will be the west side elevation when the extra bedrooms are right here. And then on the east side is our master suite. So now we'll go and we'll take a look at the floor plans. So the floor plans are where it kind of gets fun. We're gonna do a little bit of adjusting on the floor plans here. So we'll start with the kitchen because this is the most important part of what we wanted to adjust a little bit. Yeah. So we are going to actually make the size of our kitchen island larger. Yeah, so this right. is the island originally. And so we are going to over double the size of the kitchen island, just like that, which will get rid of this keeping room, which is essentially a dining room because- but There's already a dining room there, and so it doesn't really- make Need a second dining yeah, room. Yeah, it doesn't really need that. And so we're gonna get rid of some of that space and make the island bigger. And because we do spend a lot of time in the kitchen, um, having a large kitchen and a large island is something that was really important to us. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we're gonna change in the kitchen is at this bay, window bay right here, we are actually going to put a breakfast bar in. Mm -hmm. If I can get it to stay in there. And so we are actually going to raise the window up a little bit mm -hmm. and so that we can put a counter height bar in. And so this is where we'll be able to sit in the mornings and have our breakfast as a family. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we'll be able to look out over our pastures and our gardens and everything from our new breakfast bar. Yeah. The other thing we are going to do is because we are adding the breakfast bar here, we are gonna be removing this section of the bar right here and having a, I think it's a 10 foot um, walk through from the kitchen into the family room. Yeah, so our, our plan for now is that if we decide to do so, we'll have just like a little dining table, maybe like a circular dining table, right? Like a little cafe table. Yeah. yeah. The next thing that we are going to adjust is the laundry room. So right now we have the laundry room right here and then we have the spare, the second half bathroom, mm -hmm. or the half bath right yeah. here, and then an entryway. So we are actually going to open this entire room up. And so our laundry room will be that big. We will 
have it be a laundry room and pantry that will be here. Mm -hmm. We will not have that half bath in there, but we will be adding a dog washing station as well as an additional sink in there and then a mudroom bench as well. Since we are removing the half bathroom from the laundry room, we are actually going to be adding it into the garage. We are going to add just a separate toilet. <laughs> the little sign says pooper. <laughs> but we are gonna be adding a separate toilet only into the bathroom or into the garage. Mm -hmm. um, that will help us, especially when we're doing farm chores, when we're all dirty and muddy, we don't even have to come in the house. We can just go straight in the garage, go right into the bathroom, and then we'll have a, a slop sink out in yeah. the, the garage as well. Yeah. And so that will help just keep the inside of our house a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we are going to adjust is going to be this spare bathroom. And so we have our son and we don't want him to have access to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So we are actually going to close off this bathroom door and make that a solid wall. And then we will switch the sink and then have a door that goes from the hallway into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit safer for us, knowing that he can't get into the bathroom considering he is very young at this point. Mm -hmm. The second bedroom will have access into that spare bathroom. Other than that, everything else in this entire plan is being left as is. Our ceilings in the entire house are a minimum of a 10 foot tall ceilings. And then in our family room, going back to our back porch is a 16 foot nine inch vault. So it's a tall, tall ceiling. So we will be doing some beams. I'm not sure if we're gonna do beam wraps or if we're actually going to be able to get some solid wood beams from some local foresters here. Mm -hmm. Local loggers, I guess. Loggers. Local people, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna do some fun stuff with that. And that'll be stuff that as we get closer into that portion of the build, um, we'll be able to make our decisions and really come up with a better plan. Mm -hmm. And then our master suite or our master bedroom the ceiling is a 12 foot vault, which is pretty nice. And considering we're really, really short, we're five foot and five foot three. <laughs> that's a really, really tall <laughs> ceiling. So um, it wasn't something we originally had planned on. We weren't really looking for that. It just mm -hmm. happened to be the plan that we chose that we liked. Mm -hmm. It has a nice walk-in closet too. Can't complain. Nope. All right, so the next thing that we have is we have our foundation plan. Um, you can get these plans in a slab foundation, a crawl space foundation, as well as a full basement. Um, we are going to do a crawl space here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have 40 inch crawl space walls. Uh, so we have plenty of room underneath to get in there to do things such as electric, plumbing, HVAC, we have enough room and it will be comfortable to work under there. This is the basic truss layout and just some of the different wall sections, some of the designs and some of the specifications that we need to follow here. Um, again, this is all just basic blueprint stuff that you would get with any set of prints um, that you would purchase. I am a, a general contractor here and I've been in the trades for over 20 years already. Um, so. Any questions that you guys do have about anything that's going on with the build, um, I should be able to answer and anything that I'm not able to answer, it's because I'm not doing it. So <laughs> not until, until we find out from the other contractors. Okay, well that was the house plans. Yeah, it's very exciting. That's something that we've been very excited to share with people for a while. This is episode one. Yep. We will have multiple episodes coming up to the actual start of the build. Getting everything planned right now is a big, or the only way that I am gonna be able to get this house built because we have such a long winter up here and summers are fairly short. And so getting that, getting the whole house built essentially in summer, spring and summer and fall, uh, that's, that's going to be a big project. Yeah, and so you want to have 
have very clear plans. Yeah. So that goes smoothly. So it's a very exciting process. We're really excited to bring you guys along on this journey. Mm -hmm. This is something that we've been thinking about for a long time mm -hmm. and it's new for us, so. Yeah, it's working out, so we're excited. Thank you everybody for watching this video and for following along with our journey so far. If you like this kind of content, uh, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell too so you can know when we post more episodes in this series. Yeah, we're really excited and we hope you guys will be excited to watch every video that we put up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>